one of the stars of the U.S. Ryder Cup team, bringing home the cup. First time since 2008. He's Patrick Reed. Had that showdown with Rory McIlroy, and Patrick joins us. Good morning, Patrick. Good morning, bud. How are you? <laughs> I'm pretty good. <laughs> I got to bed at a reasonable time. I don't know about you. 4.30. Is that reasonable? That sounds pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. That's more sleep than I thought you were going to get. Yeah, you know, it was a, it was a great night. Um, you know, all the celebrations from... You know, finally bringing that cup back home, and uh, you know it was uh, it was awesome, and to be around all the guys last night and seeing how much it really meant to all of us, it was it was really neat and really cool experience. What's your favorite story from that moment, that celebration that you'll tell your kids? You know, I, th- I think the biggest thing is, uh, you know, we went around, the guys went over, and uh, we took the trophy over, and. You know, it's just the guys in the room, just the just the players and the uh, the captains, assistant captains, and you know, we just went around and you know, every one of us we used the mic, the uh, trophy as a mic, and <laughs> so every player would have to hold the trophy and we have to say something that you know, whether they're thankful for or something that they you know really appreciate, something that happened this week, and uh, you know, it was really cool just to hear all the guys reflect on uh, different things and, you know, just getting closer, even closer as a team. And, uh, you know, by the time we got done with that, we come out and, you know, the European guys, they're over here and we're all kind of hanging out in the same room, you know, having a good time. And, you know, it it just shows not only the, you know, how much the tournament meant to us, but also, you know, how the friendships have bonded, not just between our team, but both teams. Whose bar tab was bigger, the U.S. or the Europeans? I have no idea. I didn't. I actually didn't have anything to drink last night, which was shocking. Um, you know, I, I made the mistake of President's Cup to, uh, you know, to have a good time with all the guys. <laughs> and the next day, like this morning, and the next day, I, I, I could barely pack. I had a headache. I didn't. You know, I'm a lightweight as it is. I can't, I mean, yeah, I'm just like, you know, guys, I'm not doing it this week. Patrick, so, you uh, sound this. You no, know, I didn't. And <laughs> you sound and like this was, uh, without drinking? Yeah, because I lost my voice from yelling <laughs> for my team and everything all week. Uh, you know, I mean, the sad thing is my voice has actually gotten better since yesterday <laughs> and the day before. I mean, before I just sound like a broken record. If, if people didn't see the front nine with you and Rory, how would you sum that up yesterday? The front nine? Yeah, well, the first nine. Dude, I mean, uh, I mean, for me, it was, uh, let's say epic. You know, to go out and play the way we did, you know, the first hole was shaky on both of us. I mean, I, I domed it left, and then after that, you know, I, making that 20, 20, 25-footer up over the ridge to have the hole on one just kind of set the tone. I, You know, the crowd got right in it, and he birdied three. They made five drivable, and I, I go ahead and make eagle and heap birdies. And then, you know, topping birdies on six, topping birdies on seven, then get to eight, and he makes a putt from 70 feet. <laughs> and then me topping it from 25 feet. I mean, it was just a all-out, just epic round front nine of golf. I mean, you couldn't – if you are going to say that I was going to be, what was I, two, three, four, five under par through eight – and I'd be all square, I'd say you're nuts. <laughs> you know, there'd be no way. I mean, I, I would think for sure, especially in singles match where you don't have a teammate, that if I'd be two, maybe, you know, t- at, at worst two up. And, uh, you know, it just shows how uh, how solid golfers uh, are here and playing in these events and how you have to, you have to step up and, uh, you know, do your job and play some good golf. He's Patrick Reed, the uh, victorious U.S. Ryder Cup team, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. But you guys played to the crowd, and but explain to me the. It's a, It's not. I don't know if it's taunting. It's. It, there's a rivalry. You're trying to win. It's a gentleman's sport. Like there's so much involved in that, Patrick. I was trying to figure out you and Rory the relationship during the round itself. Can you describe that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, it's, it's just emotional high. Um, you know, going out, especially when you're that first match out on Sunday you need to go out and win that match. Uh, you know, it gives all the momentum to the team that wins that match. And, you know, I told Captain, I was like, hey, 
you know, we know they're going to front load because they need to get off to a hot start. And I, I, I told Captain, I, I want to go first. You know, put me first, put Jordan second. Yeah. And, you know, with him be, you know, trusting me, going out, put me first to go win that point. Yeah. I figured that Rory had to be, you know, first or second out. And, uh, you know, they put their best guy out uh, this week against myself. And to go out there and play, uh, play with Rory, I knew that you're going to have to make birdies. And he was getting the crowd all going for the first two days. And I was getting the crowd going in my matches. So I knew it was just going to be an all out, just, you know, go for broke. And, uh, you know, attack mode on both sides. And, you know, Rory, Rory and I, it, it was more on kind of a show. You know, it, I would taunt him a little bit, try getting his head. He would taunt right back to me, try getting mine. But it, if you also noticed, every every time we did it, when we were walking off the greens or anything in between the holes, there were thumbs ups, there were smiles, there were, you know, fist pumps. I mean, there was everything. You know, the guy, uh, you know, the guy and I, we just, we went out, had some fun and, uh, you know, we had a blast, and even after the round, you know, throughout the round, we're talking about, all right, when are we going to see each other again? When are we going to play? And all that kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, it's good to see because we're out there, and, you know, we're bantering back and forth and trying to get the crowd going, but also at the same time, uh, you know, our friendships that we have with these guys is is way larger than, you know, a shush or a finger wag or a bow or, you know, stuff like that. It's just, you know, it's just all fun and games. How much fun would the tour be if it was that kind of atmosphere? Ooh, it would be amazing. I would absolutely love it. <laughs> um, you know, but it's, uh, y- you wouldn't be able to play 35 weeks a year, <laughs> a year and do stuff <laughs> like that, that's for sure. Uh, you know, I- I'm exhausted um, all, all night last night. And when I sat down right at media after uh, after the round, and we're all sitting up there, and my calves and my feet were just throbbing, and they 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 haven't gotten any better. I cannot wait to, uh, you know, hopefully stay in bed for like 24 hours or something like that. Just try to get them to recoup because it's a lot of golf. Uh, you know, Captain put us out, uh, Jordan and I out for five five matches in uh, three days. So, you know, it was a lot of golf, but you know, we stepped up and did what we needed to do, and. Uh, you know, it was definitely worth uh, the pain and suffering afterwards. Good to visit with you. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun to watch the entire weekend, Patrick. Congratulations. Thanks, bud. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience. <laughs>